When we're sick and none of the over-the-counter remedies seem to be doing the job, we have no option but to take antibiotics. However we feel about them, they do help in our recovery and get us there faster. But how much do we know about antibiotics or how they work? Today on Medical Matters, we find out everything you need to know. You've tried every remedy you can get your hands on to kick that nasty infection. And finally, you have no choice but to see your doctor and get that inevitable prescription for antibiotics. And most people start to feel better within days of taking them, even though many of us have no clue what antibiotics really are. So antibiotics are basically chemical compounds produced by a set of living organisms which have a detrimental and destructive effect on another set of living organisms. So what will happen is that these chemical structures are isolated and used to manufacture antibiotics which are used to treat illnesses caused by bacteria in the human body. Antibiotics are used to treat serious infections caused by bacteria. So when do we need them and how do they work to make us better? We need antibiotics after we've been to visit the doctor and the doctor has confirmed that you actually have a bacterial infection. Antibiotics work by making us feel better by destroying the bacteria that's causing the illness. Once that happens, you find that the symptoms dissipate and you actually start feeling better. Like most medication, there is always the danger of side effects. With antibiotics, these can range from nausea and diarrhea to more serious reactions. You'll find that doctors always recommend a probiotic with antibiotics. Oh, and another thing, make sure you're not allergic to penicillin. The most common side effects of antibiotics would be nausea, diarrhea, and in severe cases, something called anaphylaxis. So anaphylaxis is basically an overreaction by the body's immune system to a certain trigger. If you're allergic to penicillin or any other particular antibiotic, you'll start developing symptoms of anaphylaxis. So you'll find that you might get an itch, your throat might close up, you'll find that your lips might start swelling up. And that's when you realize that, you know what, you are actually allergic to that particular antibiotic. Antibiotics are prescribed with a probiotic because the nature of the antibiotics is to destroy bacteria. So they will destroy good and bad bacteria. So probiotics are basically good bacteria which need to be put back into the system to counter the high numbers of bad bacteria which, which are there as well. When you get that box of antibiotics, you will always see a sticker telling you, finish this course of medication. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you didn't? Finishing a course of antibiotics is crucial because, number one, you don't want reinfection because antibiotics work over a period of time. So what will happen is that you might need an antibiotic for five days. Use it for three days. You haven't gotten rid of the bad bacteria, so they start growing up again. And then what happens if you carry on doing that same thing all the time, not finishing a course of antibiotics, resistance develops. And when resistance develops, you find that that particular antibiotic no longer works for that particular bacteria. They then have to start moving to a different class of antibiotics which could be more expensive and have more side effects. You must have heard someone say at some time that we can become resistant to antibiotics if we take them too often. Is that true or a misconception? And what are the myths around antibiotics? Constant use of antibiotics is not good because what happens is that bacteria then start mutating, start developing resistance to that particular class of antibiotics. And then when you really do need that antibiotic for the bacterial infection, because the bacteria has developed resistance to it, you'll find that that antibiotic won't work. The general misconception is that antibiotics are used to treat a flu, which is not so. A flu is caused by a virus. Antibiotics do not work against viruses. You have to be smart about antibiotics and remember, you should only take them if you need them. Antibiotics cannot cure anything and everything. They only work on certain infections caused by bacteria. So let your doctor decide if you absolutely need them.